<laughs> they say home is where the heart is. Right. How was school today? That was good. For Tori Holt, that means family. One hand. And football. Who's the best one hand catcher in your opinion? Right now? Yeah, right now. Probably Odell Beckham, because he has the most famous one. <laughs> All the, all the young kids think Odell Beckham discovered the one-hand catch. <laughs> it's so funny to me. Balls run low to right side for Torrey Holt. Circus catch with one hand. For 11 years, Holt made his home on NFL fields, showing some of the best hands in football. Touchdown Rams, Torrey Holt! Y'all always come to me, huh? Because I give you what you want, don't I? On the field, off the field, in between the field, in the club, everywhere, at home. I'm the man, man. Big game, man. I got big game. Goodness gracious, what a grab by 81 Torrey Holt. Now, there's the hands that we talk about all the time. When I look back on my career now, I did some good stuff, man. You're consistent. I, yeah, I was very That's consistent. So consistent. I try to catch at least anywhere from from 100 to 200 balls. 36, and the goal is not to drop any off the jug machine. 30 more. Watch my eyes, watch my eyes. Uh, 200, Joe. When I was growing up, I didn't want to be a doctor. I didn't want to be a lawyer. I didn't want to be a, a dentist. I didn't want to be, I, I wanted to play ball. I can't not look at it. I can't not look at it. That's insane right. to me. Yeah, it is crazy. Look at your finger. Yeah, Why don't crazy. you get that fixed? It's Ow. still functional. Does it make anything particularly difficult to do? Yeah, when I'm like, like if I grab a, I, I, I love candy. It's like if I grab a big <laughs> scoop of Skittles, then you know you have some falling out. The first out. thing you thought of is when I try to grab a big old yeah, when I grab Skittles, a big old it falls Skittles out. Skittles or Starbursts, it just falls out. So, <laughs> man. I mean, it's a, it's a testament to, to the work that I put in in the game. It sure is. You know? And, and it's a little bit intimidating. But guys like Jack Youngblood and Ronnie Lotz of the world, they can appreciate mm. the work of the finger. Mm. <laughs> in retirement, hands that once excelled at receiving have turned to giving. When you retired, was there a void at first? Yeah, it is a void. And that's not a lot that fills that void. Let's go now, let's go, let's go y'all, let's go now. Once my son started playing ball and I started coaching, I was like, that's it. That school, everybody used to come up to me, it's like, is your dad Tory Holt? I got that a lot. I'm with him every day. Come on, get to me, Bray. Being here with the players and being here with the coaches. I said, finish, finish. Let's go, eyes up, eyes up. Get there. Get this is here. my fraternity. I said, finish. I said, nice job. Nice it's job. like I never, never left. Just play fast, just play quick. Your number's called, make your play. Let's put the ball in the end zone, okay? Yes, sir. Okay? We have this footage of you taking your son Braden out of the stands when you were a player. What up, what up, what up, what up? Come on. Y'all going? Did you know then that you wanted to someday coach him? Nah, I really didn't want to get into coaching. But once he started to play uh, football, I found myself getting closer and closer to the field. And before you know you look up, I was out there actually coaching. I'm like, what am I doing? So that next year, I went to a Pop Warner football team and said, hey, look, I think I want to jump into coaching. Can I help out with the receivers? And he was like, sure, we would love to have you. Holt was back home on the field and back in his home state. Yeah, what's up, the North Carolina man? Everybody back to Gibsonville for real, man. When you were playing in the NFL, did you feel like you were representing North Carolina? Was that like a thing that was always on your mind when oh, you were yeah. playing? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I, I'm born and raised in North Carolina, uh, went to school at North Carolina State University, uh, so I always felt like I was representing them. Yo, what up, Gibsonville? What up, man? What up, Gibsonville? NC State always, Gibsonville always. It's, it's always been home. Oh, Tori is a homeboy. He loves his family more than anything. But I just love it. We had a home here, so it was easy to come back to North Carolina to settle. Terrence, Tori's brother, lives just five minutes away from us. I know, I came out. I said, I miss you on the warm-up. Yeah. I, I came out late. Brothers that were once opponents now join forces in both business and charity. Our parents had a huge influence on who we are. 
My mom in particular, who was diagnosed with cancer in 1986 and battled it till 1996, and all the while going to work and caring for a family. And our dad, same way in terms of his work ethic. We always vowed to do something in honor of her name. So my brother and I have uh, the Whole Brothers Foundation, which we support young kids with a parent that's battling cancer. Tor is very involved. He gets on the kids' level. He plays with them. Giving back to him is a no-brainer. He really enjoys what he does and in all levels of giving back. Today is our day now. We put in a lot of work this week now. We put in a lot of work now. Going what surprised out. you the most about going from player to coach? I get an opportunity to um, um, kind of get my Mike Martz on a little bit. Let's go stem the twins right wide orbit. Speed Holt right spent up. seven years in St. Louis with Mike Martz's high-flying offense, like dubbed the greatest the show on turf. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gun, sp gun spread right, gun spread right, zero, 0-8-0-H zero, dark. Have you drawn up plays you were a part of in the NFL? Have been like, oh, yeah. this is what I used to do yeah, yeah. on the Rams? I do it all the time. Yeah? Okay, gun, jump to A spread right, um, 181-H seam. All right, let's go uh, gun right, smash 99-F seam. Now, I'll dumb it down a little bit, but there's some of the same concepts, and the kids love it. Because I remember with the Rams, where Coach Martin's been our offensive coordinator, we couldn't wait for the offensive meetings because we knew he had a game plan that was going to be exciting. Yes, sir. Nice job. Nice job. I try to do the same thing with my JV boys. Give me some. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's a nice job, man. You know, it's still football. It's still football, and it's still teaching. We show outs. We show outs. We show outs. He rolls the out. They jump, and then Q runs right down the seat. It's a lot of lessons in football, uh, whether you're in Pop Warner, high school, nice college, job, or pros. Nice That's it, man. That's it, Trey. Way to pound it in there, boy. Way to finish the game. I'm going to always have a passion and love for the game of football, the whether I'm in it. The best on three. One, two, three. The best. Whether I'm coaching, I'm doing football clinics. Best on three. One, two, three. The best. I want to try my best to give that back to young people. That's a good win, though.